ideal, but what is ideal? And you're saying we're it's a victory for us too. Is this weather? We're winners today so for good. sure. And Peyton, you're the one that gets to bring us all the good news. We appreciate it. Well, Betsy, you will return the favor at six and then 11 o'clock tonight. I know that you will. We started this morning in the 30s for a lot of you, even close to freezing in some rural locations. But this is a look at Cleveland's temperatures over the last 20 hours, and we've rebounded very smoothly through the afternoon. We've made it into the 50s. We actually hit close to 60 degrees today, that unofficial high, but the official high will come in in the next hour or two. If you like today, I think you're going to like the next couple of days, but the catch with tomorrow is that we've got a cold front moving on through, so it's going to knock reality back closer to where we should be this time of the year, which is the low 50s, but we've got 60 and the 60s on tap for Wednesday and Thursday. 64 degrees is going to be our high temperature for the day on Thursday. And then what goes up must come down and we have a, a harsher reality that sets in for the weekend, but only really one of those days features some wet weather. But again, here is that front. It's moving through the Buckeye State right now, and as it does so, we get a reinforcing shot of some cooler air, but the cooler air hasn't necessarily made it here just yet. We are actually still about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday, so it puts our air temperatures in the mid to upper 50s all across Northeast Ohio. It's 58 in Elyria right now. Same thing in Worcester, 57 in Mansfield 59 and Dover. So you're still close to 60 for a lot of you. But of course, the sun sets in the next hour. So then temperatures are going to start to fall, but it is breezy out there. So if you do have any plans, sustained winds 10 to 15 miles per hour gusts above that, you will need the extra layer as you head through the evening. We're going to stay on the clear side as high pressure begins to funnel on in beyond that cold front. So this cold front had no wet weather tied to it, which was fantastic for us to start the beginning of the work week. But temperatures overnight and close to midnight are going to be in the upper 40s. I think a lot of you come tomorrow are still going to start the day pretty cool. So expect the sunshine to be with you as we start the day tomorrow. You'll need the sunglasses for any of your lunchtime plans, though. We'll still be close to 50 degrees, but that's basically the best we're going to do tomorrow through the afternoon. We stick with sunshine. If you're looking to wrap up and maybe a uh, golfing season and make one last final tea time this week screams fantastic or anything else you want to do outside again 64 degrees as we approach the day on Thursday in your Union Home Mortgage extended forecast and as we go through the weekend 40s are back if you're looking at the wet weather chance there's really only one day in the extend extended forecast we get more rainfall to return late Monday into Tuesday, but the weekend doesn't look too bad. It just looks chilly as a lot of our brownies go uh, head down to Brown Stadium as they take on the Steelers. Yeah, when they bring it home again, but mm -hmm. honestly, we have a great week ahead. When we get into this season, typically it's clouds, clouds, clouds. Yep. So anytime you can put lots of sunshine on a forecast, yeah. it's a win. All right, we'll take it. Thanks, Peyton.